A top Islamic State commander who's been leading the call for lone wolf attacks against the West is dead. This according to a statement posted online by one of the group's media wings. Abu Muhammad al-Adnani's death would be a major blow for ISIS. Beyond his role as the main spokesman, he was considered one of the militant group's senior most leaders, perhaps second only to leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Terrorist tracking firm site says he appears to have been killed close to the highly contested city of Aleppo. He had apparently been visiting with troops, though how and by whom he was killed wasn't clear. In a June 2014 video, his face is blurred out as he announces that Islamic State was declaring itself a caliphate. It was a bold pronouncement and heralded its transformation from an Al-Qaeda affiliate to its own menacing extremist group. Islamic State would eventually seize key cities in both Iraq and Syria, though it has recently been facing major battlefield setbacks. In announcing his death, ISIS claimed that Adnani, who was 39, had been a descendant of the Prophet Muhammad. He was born in Idlib, Syria, and had pledged to Abu Musab al-Zarqawi, the ruthless founder of what eventually became Islamic State. Years after Zarqawi's death, Adnani pledged allegiance to ISIS's new leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. There are only a few known pictures of Adnani, but he often released audio statements on behalf of the group. He was quoted in the ISIS propaganda graphic saying, Allah willing, we will blow up your White House, Big Ben clock, and Eiffel Tower. Adnani was the voice that denounced al-Qaeda by claiming it had deviated from Osama bin Laden's path and the split that resulted has turned into a battle for supremacy between Islamic State and Al-Qaeda over who is the rightful leader of global jihad.